sexual preference is an old term that is not used anymore that was used in a pejorative way to refer to sexual orientation of individuals and it really was under the premise that somehow it was a choice for people to um, have a particular sexual identity. We now have a lot of research that shows that's not true and so we use the term instead sexual orientation which really means the diversity of people's capacity for affection and love and sexuality with members of the same sex, the other sex, or both um, men and women. And we know now that it's composed of three dimensions, uh, sexual attraction, sexual um, behavior, and sexual identity. And sexual attraction is desire and love towards people of the same or other gender. Um, sexual behavior could mean intimate relationships as well as sexual behavior. And we know that sexual identity means both somebody's personal private identity and also their public identity because sometimes there's a process where people have to reconcile what they know about themselves on the inside and how they, until they come out and have a, let people know on the outside about their sexual identity. It really began to make a difference when we really conducted a lot of research in the late 50s and 60s and the early 70s and it became clear that despite people's assumption um, you could compare heterosexual men and women and lesbian and gay men and what you would find is that there was no significant difference in their uh, capacities or psychological functioning and also we realized in those in those studies that for gay and lesbian people just like for heterosexual people their actual sexual orientation is very deep-seated for most people it has some biological component and so it was really inaccurate to use the term sexual preference instead of sexual orientation.